circus performers, daredevils of the big top. Day after day throughout the summer months, they risk their necks to thrill crowds with hair-raising feats. But comes fall, the shows close. And how do they spend their winter vacations? Well, quite a few of them come to beautiful, balmy, sunny Southern California. Hello, Florida. Are you listening? Life in a cottage trailer is a welcome change after the tough grind of a long, hard season. For the rich sisters, however, it's a busman's holiday. Yup, even as they enjoy the wide open spaces, the gals take time out for daily practice in beautiful, balmy, sunny, southern Florida, uh, California. There, a swell trick, Betty Rich. The last time Betty tried this one, she was seriously injured and laid up for six months. Mm, how nice. You'll note the girls work without a safety net. If they fall, well, they kiss Mother Earth, and most emphatically. Here, dear ladies, we show you a simple way to acquire a supple figure in one easy lesson. There, if you'll try this every morning before breakfast, your worries about your figure will be over. If you try it one morning before breakfast, your worries about anything will be over. Again, the slow motion camera gives us an intimate study of a very dangerous stunt. Go! Look, by her heels, and nothing beneath her but hard terra firma. Oh, sister! The J Trio enjoy their vacation at Sunny Palm Springs, where you can get nicely burned in the daytime and nicely boiled at night. Like the Rich Sisters, this troupe keeps in practice too. What with somersaults, twists, and general acrobatics, they're bound to keep in shape. And I do mean bound. And now the man you are watching, or are you watching the man? Hmm, she is rather cute at that. Uh, anyway, here he goes into a back somersault, and very nice too. Now a double somersault in slow motion becomes a poem of movement in muscular masculinity. Ain't it the truth? Watch this, a full twist, somersault, and another full twist. Mm, yes, sir. Well, what now? What's buzzing, cousin? Oh, a bit of horseplay, eh? Well, you can't stick to serious practice all the time. Who are you shoving? Perhaps they could settle this quicker with hammers. You're next, brother. Okay, Maggie, hit it. Nothing to it. All you need is a good sense of timing, agility, plenty of practice, and an utter disregard for your future welfare. A nice thing about this kind of rope skipping kids is it doesn't matter on what part of your anatomy you land, you can keep going. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Hey, well, close my kisser. To skip rope, somersault, and pass through a hoop all at the same time keeps a guy busy. Yet, if you know just when to do what, it looks easy. Now, twice through the hoop. One, two. Now, if he could just do that while balancing a glass of water on his head, a cigar in each ear, and a lighted parlor lamp on his nose, he'd be a star in vaudeville, if there were any vaudeville. Hmm, what long hair you have, Grandma. And here, although they like to camp out in the wide open spaces during layoff time, the Apollos rig up their portable equipment any place, any time they get the urge to practice. Chow isn't ready yet, so go ahead, gang. You might as well start climbing. 
It's a long, long journey to the top. But, ah, uh, it's simply glorious up here in beautiful, balmy, sunny Southern California. High, high up, their combined weight hanging from the single wrist of one man, three husky performers gyrate against Ma Nature's fanciest backdrop. Atop the spindly rigging, 125 feet above the ground, look out! Don't do that! Now balancing themselves on their hands, on top of two overgrown buggy whips, the lads have some real fun, they say. Are they very high up? Good heavens to Betsy, what a way to spend your vacation! How can we stop this? Well, come and get it. Far from the matting crowd's ignoble strife, the Cameron Troop finds relaxation on a beautiful, balmy, sunny Southern California ranch. Goodness, what's that? Well, let's go around back and see. In the circus, these boys bound over elephants and things. So, they have to keep up on their bounding at all times. Somersaulting with the aid of a springboard, and with utter abandon, the leaping lads love it. Seven horses, count them. Never mind, you can take my word for it. Go. Nice. It's a long flight, Cookie. Happy landing. Watch out. When you somersault your pink body over the width of seven sharp-hoofed horses, well, those dancing dobbins may be full of it, but they ain't hay, brethren. Mm-mm. Here's one for the book, a somersault over a stagecoach. But watch the gal sombrero. Grab it. Come on, cowboy, get it on your noggin. There. A mighty graceful finish, my lad. Another unusual slow-motion picture presenting a study of split-second timing and daring agility. Here they go. Oh, yes. Nice going, gang. That's big time bounding in anybody's circus. Indeed. The ever-popular Ericsons, Mr. and Mrs., spend their vacation working around their farm in uh, BBSSC. You'll notice that both of them are high up on the tower, Mr. Erickson painting the dangerous places, while Mrs. Erickson paints the spots that are easy to get at. Yes, twas ever thus. Look out. Darn. Well, that brush fell a hundred feet to the ground. That's a long climb down by ladder, so Mr. Erickson decides it's much quicker to dive down. Do you mind? Oh. Oucha ma goucha. Such a nice, pleasant way to spend one's vacation. Ah, yes, nothing like getting a good rest. Yes, indeed, especially in beautiful, balmy, sunny Southern California.